Tonight we are following that breaking news. The search is on for several gunmen at the state capitol after the second deadly mass shooting in Sacramento just in a matter of five weeks. The police chief has confirmed six deaths and 12 people hurt as investigators interview witnesses and comb through hundreds of pieces of evidence from the scene, including a gun. Shots were fired early this morning on 10th Street and K Street, just blocks from the Capitol building. CBS Sacramento's Steve Large has the very latest. A crowd fighting in downtown Sacramento early this morning when gunfire erupted. We are shocked and heartbroken. The shooting left at least six people dead. Among those killed, Frank Turner's son, Devossier. He walked out the club and he walked into some and got shot. The scale of violence that just happened in our city is unprecedented during my 27 years here at the Sacramento Police Department. 12 others were hospitalized. Several of them are fighting for their lives as officials try to determine a motive for this mass shooting. This senseless epidemic of gun violence must be addressed. Across California, homicides are up 30% from 2020 and nationwide an average of 37% in the biggest cities. We do everything we can to minimize the chance that we will stand here like this on a Sunday afternoon mourning the deaths of innocent people. On CBS's Face the Nation, New York City Mayor Eric Adams said he's trying to stop the flow of guns into communities. We're zeroing in on dangerous gangs and zeroing in on those who are trigger pullers and carrying guns. In Sacramento, as police investigate the deadly shooting, the city and victims' families grieve together. I'm heartbroken. When you include the dozen wounded, Sunday's violence would be the worst mass shooting in Sacramento history. Steve Large, KCAL 9 News. Governor Newsom tweeted today saying, sadly, we once again mourn the lives lost and for those injured in yet another horrendous act of gun violence. We must resolve to bring an end to this carnage. And one of the victims identified is 38-year-old Sergio Harris. His mother says she's in disbelief that she lost someone that she loves so much. My son was a very violacious young man. You know, fun to be around, like to party, have fun, smiling all the time. You know, don't bother people. And for this to happen, it's crazy. Yeah, you can only imagine the pain that mother is feeling. Well, be sure to stay with KCAL 9 News, also KCAL9.com, for continuing coverage of this mass shooting. We'll also have more reports throughout the night. You can always find the latest on our app, CBS LA. A drive